Hello everyone, it's Owen. Welcome back. Um, I believe this is my 15th video in my Java tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be going over some uh, new numbering systems. Uh, one of which you should all be used to because it is the normal numbers, numbering system that we use. And uh, that is the decimal system. So, if I can spell decimal. Uh, the decimal system, as you know it, is um, a base 10 uh system which means if i were to put uh let's say 1897 now you know that this ones place right here is the thousands place and you know that the 8 is of course the hundredth ninth tenths and seven ones so um i mean you know that's obviously everybody i expect everyone to know that of course but um, anyways, but it, it kind of leads into our next one, because remember this is base 10, because the next one that I want to talk about is hexadecimal. And what hexadecimal is, is it's pretty much, it's essentially the same thing, except it is uh, base 16. So what that means, as like as you saw here, this was, this is the equivalent to, to uh, here, I'll do this here. This is the equivalent. Whoa. All right. So the seven here is the equivalent to ten to the zeroth power. And um, if for those of you who don't know, ten to the zeroth power or anything to the zeroth power is one. So what? So what this is is saying seven times one is seven. So that's going to be your first place value, and then you have seven. So you have seven to the first power, or ten to the first power, which is going to be ten. So you have nine times ten, that's ninety. So on, you have ten to the man. You have ten to the second power, which is going to be one hundred. One hundred times eight is eight hundred, and ten to the third power, which is a thousand. And then that is one times one thousand, which is a thousand. Then you just put those all together in there respective places. So what hexadecimal is, sorry, this was uh, all decimal is what I was explaining, but what hexadecimal is, is it's all 16 as its base, which means pretty much the same thing except, I'll, I'll write these in, for those of you, of you who have never seen this, using the caret key, that means that uh, it means to the power of, which is an exponent. So, with this number in hexadecimal, I'm here. I'm actually well. No, I'm going to use that number. But I'll go through this. I'm going to make this simple. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to make these all twos because this number I don't actually have anything to do that number with. But um, anyway, so you have 16 to the zeroth power, which uh, like I said is going to be one. So you're going to do two times one. And this, by the way, is our decimal number. So imagine that you're trying to convert this uh, into the decimal place. Or into a decimal value, and um, well, I'm actually I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna I'm just remember. Sorry, this is still ten. Remember, this is how uh, the hexadecimal is gonna work. It's gonna be this, all these values. However, the thing about hexadecimal is that it only has. It's not simply uh, zero through nine, which is what uh, decimal is, because as you can see, decimal. Um, it, it's not one through ten. It's zero through nine, uh, which would be these are all the numbers that you can use, you know, 0 through 9, all the numbers that you can use, and you can simply add them together, not add them, but, you know, con like concatenate them, you know, 75, that's a 7 and a 5. Or, if you want 10, you do 1 and a 0. It's not 10, it's 1, 0. So with hexadecimal, it's, it's similar, except it's 0 through 9, here, I'll do this, and A, B, C, so it goes through from 0 to 9 and then A, B, C, D, E, F. A, my bad. So, as you can see here, we have 16, which was like I was saying, it's base 16, and there's 16 letters that you can use, or well, letters and numbers. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, it uses a number, uh, it's, it's kind of weird, of course, to see a letter and think of it as a numerical value, but or as a number, but they all have their respective uh, numerical values. So A is going to be the tens place, 
and of course B the 11, C 12, 13, 14, and 15. So like I said, notice it's not 16 of course because we have 0, so which makes this in total 16, but it doesn't actually go to 16. But these all have, these uh, the A through F give the, or er, assigned the values 11, or sorry, 10 through 15. So if we were to do, have a number, let's say we have, I'm going to do C502. And this is a number that, this is just an example that number that I'm going to use to hopefully show you guys how to convert. But anyways, what we have here, we see you have 2. And this is in the 16th to the 0th power. So that's going to be 1. So we're going to do 2. Uh, by the, the way that we're doing this is we're taking this top number, multiplying it by this bottom number, and then it's going to get a product. And then once we have all the four products, we're going to add them all together. So we have 16 to the 0th power, and that's 1. And 1 times 2, of course, is 2. And then we have 16 to the 1th power, and that is 16. But this number down here is 0. So we have 2, 0, um, I mean, I guess we leave those the same now, but, um, and then we have 16 to the second power, which is 256 times 5. Now, you can see quickly that this, uh, I mean, it's, it, it could be hard to do off the top of your head, obviously. It's, it's, um, the numbers get very large very quickly. I mean, we're only into the third place value, and it's already up to 256. But we're going to multiply that by 5, and you're going to get 1,280. So then we're going to come to our last one, and 16 to the third power is 4,096. So if we do 4,096 times C, which as you remember, 10, 11, 12 is our 12th value. So multiply that by 12, you get 49,152. So I'm going to start writing these in here <laughs> before I forget them all. Might have already forgot the other one. 152. 16 to the t or 256. What did I say that was? Times 5. All right, of course, 1280 plus 0. Sorry, and plus 2. So the way that we do this, very simple. I'll just put these in here to show you visual people out there. We're gonna add all these together, and when you do. 4,091152. Sorry, I don't actually have this ready, but anyways, it's equal to 50,434, which is a pretty large number. So, as you can see, um, it could be, uh, this system can actually be very useful uh, if you're ever working with larger numbers. Now, doing this in your head isn't very practical, but, you know, Java, of course, has some ways to, uh, convert those which we'll get into later but not I'm not going to get into converting in this video but I will I'm just trying to run you through this so anyways just to speed things up the next one that I'm going to talk about is octal now octal as you may be able to guess is a base 8 system so we'll change all these eights and it's simply what is a 7 place value and uh, we have 8 digits here as you can see and the number that I'm going to use this time is 2,934. And uh, just to make this simple, um, actually, I'm going to go from left to right this time. So we have 8 to the third power, which is 1024, times 2, uh, which is 2048. Whoops. I'm going to write these out just to make, whoops, just to make sure I remember them. And then we have 8 to the second power, which is uh, 64, of course, times 9, that's 576, should be right, yes, okay, and then 24, we have 8, you know, 8 times 3, 24, and then we have 4, of course, here, because this is 1 times 4. Now, when you add all of these numbers together, you will get a number that looks like 2,662. Uh, I'm not going to write that out. But hopefully you guys understand that, because um, uh, we'll get more into them later, maybe. But I, I'm just trying to get you uh, into a rough explanation. The important thing is that you remember that octal is base 8, and hexadecimal is base 16, and of course your normal decimal is base 10. You don't really need to 
I mean, it, uh, the <laughs> I hope the decimal, the regular decimal system is pounded into your head by now. Um, but anyways, the last one that I'm going to talk about is the binary system. Now, the binary system is base two because it only whoops um, because it only has two values. Now, notice if you haven't already, when I say base, the base is the number of a uh, number of values that are possible. So hopefully you can guess this one only has two. In that case, it is zero and one. So I'm just going to start out with a number here. Whoops. Uh, one. And I'm going to delete these. So we're going to convert this. Binary is actually pretty easy because it, I mean, you know, it gets harder, but it it's, uh, I got to say it's a lot simpler than hexadecimal or octal in my opinion, but, you know. So we have 2 to the 0th, of course, which is 1 times 1, so we get, uh, I should start from the other side, but we get 1 down here. I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to come over here, sorry, but um, 2 to the 3rd power instead, which is 8 times 1, we get 8. And 2 to the 2nd value, or 2nd power, we're going to have 4 times 1, which is 4. And then, of course, this one's 0 because it's multiplied by 0, but this would be, sorry, I put a 4 there. Um, but this would be 2, and this one is 1, so we'll come over here and 1. Now, it's essentially just, it's this base thing that you want to know. But some people look at binary more as a, uh, similar to Booleans, in that it's a true-false thing, which is... Uh, a zero means that it's false, which I'll, I'll try to explain this. Um, we have two to the one, or two to the zero, which is one. And when you have a one here, that means true in this fa in this first place value. And because uh, you normally start by the right and go to the left uh, in binary, not necessarily reading it, but when doing it, it makes it a lot easier. So this would be one times one, or one, and then you have a true, which means is there any value in two to the is should I add a one on basically and you're giving it one which means yes pretty much so you add one on and then you come two to the first power but the value here is zero so you're basically saying no you shouldn't add on a uh, you shouldn't add on a two which is two to the first power then you come to two to the second power which is four check whether or not you want to add it on that's one so yes you want to add that on we now have four plus one which is five and then we have 2 to the 3rd power, which is 8. Then you check, and down here we have a 1, so add that on too. So 8 plus 5 is 13, and that's what our decimal value, our base 10 value is going to be for this number in binary, this number right here, 1101. So with all that, uh, I hope you guys get all that. There's just one small thing I want to talk about. I'll leave it here. I'm going to delete some of these to make it look nicer. But you have this number right here, right, which is 1101. And this number right here, um, well, each individual number is called a, a bit. And I'll just copy this. When you have, there we go, uh, when you have eight of these in a row, it's called a byte. So if you ever heard something like, uh, you know, a megabyte or a gigabyte, mega means million. So if you have if you have a million uh, bytes or megabyte, that's a million of these. So that'd be like the equivalent to this, uh, to eight numbers in binary times a million. So whatever your value is, uh, it's not necessarily one one zero one, one one zero one, but you get the point. It's hopefully. So that's all I want to talk about in this video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten many videos up this week. Uh, we'll try later, but been kind of busy. So. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.